Who invented folk rock? You know that's a loaded question. It's a loaded question. One that's not really easy to answer. There's quite a few popular scam notes. One is the duo Simon and Garfunkel, known for their beautiful harmonies and their iconic sound. Another is Bob Dylan, and some even say that folk rock has its roots somewhere in British rock. But what's undeniable is while they may not have invented folk rock, they were there at the start of the movement. The Sound of Silence is considered by many to be the first folk rock song. Within the sound of silence, in restless dreams I walked alone, narrow streets of cobblestone. But the rock instrumentals weren't added until 1966. And by then, Argus sections the birds. And Bob Dylan. John is in a basement mixing up the medicine. I'm on the pavement thinking about the government. A man in a trench coat patch I laid off. had already put out their earliest releases. However, Simon and Garfunkel helped define the genre for generations to come, and put their own unique spin on the timeless creation of folk music. Gazing from my window to the streets below On a freshly fallen silent shroud of snow I am a rock, I am an island Including their iconic harmonies, which have forever changed the way the music sounds, were unique even at the time, unique to this day, and are just beautiful. Today, I'll be playing my own unique spin on the timeless tradition of Dutch gazettes. Welcome to Rigaman Foods, and today we'll be making crumble bread. So for those of you who don't know, crumble bread is a Dutch crumb and custard pie, or just a crumb pie in English, really. So what we're doing to make the custard is we're taking six egg yolks, just the yolks and none of the whites, and we're whisking that with a fork into a third of a cup of sugar. This will make our first part of our custard, which is quite delicious. We're just going to mix that until it's super nice and homogenous and beat together. Once you finally got a homogenous mixture, you're going to take a tablespoon of all-purpose flour and just whisk that in with the fork as well into your nice egg yolk mixture. That is the final ingredient in the yolks. Now you're going to take 16 cups of milk and you're just going to pour this into another empty pot on the stove on some heat. We're going to add in some vanilla for flavor as well as some cinnamon. Then we're going to whisk this all together all while heating it on a medium high heat. We want to get a nice homogenous mixture again. We'll see some froth, that's not a problem. But we do want this to be all nice and combined. So once you've got it all nice and combined like this, you'll notice now it's really starting to bubble a little bit and smoke a lot from the heat. It's still very thin though, it's not thickening up yet. As it starts to finally thicken up, you'll eventually want to switch to using rubber spatula. So now we're using the rubber spatula, you can see it's still boiling and it's thickening up just a little bit. But the rubber spatula is much better for getting the edges, especially much better than the whisk. This way we can make sure that none of the custard around the edges burns. 
You can see it's taking a while. This took quite a while, but it's continuing to thicken up. Usually you wouldn't want a custard to thicken up this way. We're deliberately making a curd custard, or a curdled custard. And this is because when it's made this way, the texture goes very well with the crumbs. It's not necessarily a traditional way to do it, but I find this has a much better texture to it, honestly, with the crumbs than a regular smooth custard. If you wanted to make a regular smooth custard, you would just take it off the heat and let it set prior to it curdling, and that would work just fine. But this will work even better, in my opinion, especially for this particular dish. Now that the custard is ready, I should mention I made the pie crust in advance. So that's all ready to go, and there will be a link in the description for how it's done. Anyways, let's take a second to talk about Simon and Garfunkel. They are, of course, world famous. The second best selling duo in history, only being big note by Hollow Notes. Their harmonies are beautiful and distinctive. Their take on folk music has forever changed the genre and the greatest hits illustrate this perfectly. Songs like the 59th Bridge Street song, Just kicking down the cobblestones Looking for fun and feeling groovy And the boxer. have a beautiful, happy, and upbeat energy that carries into better-known classics like Miss Robinson, and Cecilia. and make them groove even despite their lyrics. But they also go into beautiful songs that are vocal more nostalgic and mellow feel, hearkening even further back to their origins in folk. Standards of this nature are America. It took me four days to hitchhike from Saginaw. I've come to look for America. And a personal favorite of mine, Homer Bell. I'm sitting in the railway station, got a ticket for my destination. On a tour of one night stands, my suitcase and guitar in hand, and every stop is neatly planned for a poet and a one man band. Oh, but none are quite as deep, dark, and provocative as the sound of silence. No one did disturb the sound of silence. Which, as I mentioned earlier, is considered by some to be the first folk rock song. It's unfortunate they ended up feuding, as although I like a lot of Paul Simon's solo work. What was Simon without Garfunkel? Wildly successful? Together, they are undeniably iconic. Anyways, let's get back to the cream of life. So we're going to put some icing sugar on the bottom of the pie crust, and then we're going to spread our custard on top of that into a nice even coat. I like to kind of mound it a little bit in the middle, so there's a bit of a raise there, but you don't have to do that. You just want to get it a nice spread like this. I thought this was a really nice cover. Then you want to bend it over and just pull in the little bits of crust around the edges. Then we're going to make the crumble, so we're going to start with a big handful of almonds. 
then just put those into a food processor with some oats. Then we're going to grab some brown sugar, put that in as well a few clumps, and shake in some crum crumpled up walnuts. This will be absolutely delicious by the way. The nuts will roast on top of it. Normally you use a streusel for the crumbs on top, but I went with more of a crumble. The sort of crumble you'd see on an apple crumble pie or something like that here in Canada. So this is in my preference an even better take on it but not necessarily traditional so keep that in mind. I also put a bit of breadcrumbs on top as well then I put it in the oven for 12 minutes. Now for this entire 12 minutes your oven will be at a temperature of 400 degrees celsius. It's incredibly hot and at this temperature it will cook fast. That's why it's in there for 12 minutes this will make the pie crust nice and golden brown, which is what you're looking for. When it's golden brown, it's ready to go. This pie is delicious. It's super sweet. And the layer of nuts and crumble on top gets burnt and toasted to a delicious degree. And it really pairs with the album too. The album invokes a nostalgic feel, as I mentioned before. And so does this food. It's an old classic tradition, and I'm putting a new spin on it. And they took the tradition of folk music, and they put their own spin on it. And their spin will be forever remembered. And I doubt that will happen with my spin on this, but one can only dream, you know? Anyways. I'm just a poor boy, and my story is seldom told. I mean, they are just delicious, so I had to go with a dessert for this. Their vocals are really beautiful in a pleasant way. And also it's happy. I couldn't make this something bigger, I couldn't make this something dark. Despite songs like The Sound of Silence, I think those really just speak to how innovative they were. People talking without speaking People hearing without listening People writing songs that voices never share. Which is why I did put some effort into making this different than the traditional recipe without making it something unrecognizable. And I really recommend you try it because I think it turned out very good. Everybody liked it. Everybody I gave it to was like, damn. I don't know what crumble vle is, but this is the best crumble vle I've ever had. So as far as I'm concerned, I make the best crumble vle. Let me try, stay, well, it's been 12 minutes, so you can take it out of the oven now. It looks really nice in there. You can see it's nice and toasted. I'm also going to put the remaining little bit of crumbs on top that weren't toasted, just to round out the flavors a little bit. The toasting of the nuts is absolutely delicious. It was without a doubt the best part of the dish. Like, the crust was good, everything else is good. The toasting nuts made this dish. And I put a couple pieces of white chocolate on to garnish. So there you go. A delicious crumble boy. This is absolutely incredible. It really tasted good. I posted on Snapchat. I took a cut out of it. I got myself a nice slice of this pie. It is delicious. The custard is really, really, really sweet, and the texture is really good on it. Again, if you want to make a smooth custard, just take it out and let it sit. But I thought this would be even better, and boiling off some of the water and cooking off some of the water helped to make the pie crust less soggy, which is great. And it was great. It looked like this. It was delicious. The toasted nuts were beyond tasty. Here it is for presentation and there's a fun Yum. And there you have it. A delicious crumble boy. Inspired by Simon and Garfunkel's greatest hits. An incredible album. Timeless. Just like the tradition of Dutch desserts which are absolutely incredible. My family on my mother's side is Dutch so of course, I had to make something like this, especially in honor of my grandmother, as she's in poor health at the moment, which is very unfortunate. So if anybody had, could comment something nice, that would be awesome. 
But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoy making this pie, and I hope you enjoy eating this pie. Morning. The rest of the videos in this series are, of course, in this playlist on my channel, which is very, very easy to find. There will also be a recommended video coming up on your screen right about now. Just don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, and tell your friends. Take my arms that I might reach out to you. One my words like silent raindrops fell and echo in the wells of silence.